Apple Home Key has already changed how smart locks work inside Apple Home. Instead of fumbling the keys, opening an app, or typing in a code, you can unlock your door using your iPhone or Apple Watch with a key stored securely in Apple Wallet. It's simple, it's fast, and feels properly integrated into the Apple ecosystem. First announced at WWDC 24, ultra wideband support is set to take HomeKey even further. So what is Apple HomeKey with ultra wideband support and why does it matter? Ultra wideband is a short range wireless technology that allows devices to understand precise distance and direction, not just location. Unlike GPS, which can trigger action simply because you're near your home, ultra wideband understands where you are in relation to an object and whether you're approaching it or moving away. Apple uses ultra wideband in features like precision finding with AirTag, directional airdrop and nearby devices interactions with HomePod. So bringing this technology to smart locks was a simple natural next step. When applied to HomeKey, ultra wideband allows compatible smart locks to understand intent. Instead of just knowing that your phone or watch is nearby, the lock knows that you're approaching the door from the correct direction and at a close range. So what do you need to use ultra wideband with a lock? Ultra wideband support for Apple HomeKey is not available on every device or smart lock by default. To use ultra wideband based on lock-in, a few requirements need to be met. First, you need a compatible iPhone that includes a ultra wideband chip. That means an iPhone 11 or newer as these models already support features like a directional airdrop. Your iPhone also needs to be running the most recent version of iOS that includes support for ultra wideband home key. You also can use it with a compatible Apple Watch. This currently means Apple Watch Series 6 or newer, including Apple Watch Ultra and newer, running a supported version of watchOS. However, the most important requirement is the smart lock itself. Not all home key smart locks support ultra wideband. The lock must explicitly include ultra wideband hardware and receive firmware that enables this feature. This is both a hardware and a software requirement and cannot be added to older locks that lack the necessary components. So let's have a look at how it works. In day-to-day -day use, you barely notice ultra wideband working. And that is exactly the point. You do not need to open an app. You do not need to press a button. You do not need to change how you use HomeKey. When ultra wideband is enabled, your iPhone or Apple Watch communicate with the lock using ultra wideband to determine distance and direction. The lock will only unlock when it detects you're actively approaching the door from an expected direction. That's directional awareness, which separates ultra wideband from traditional location based on locking. When the door unlocks, you receive a home key notification to your iPhone or Apple watch confirming access. It feels deliberate and predictable, and it really shines with in hand free situations like carrying shopping, holding a child or arriving home with your hands full. So let's now look at some of the settings and let's start with the directional settings in the home app. One of the biggest advantages for ultra wideband is control. Inside the Apple Home app, you can configure the directional direction for the smart lock that it detects. In most cases, this means the lock only unlocks when you approach the door from straight ahead. But you can also enable side approach detection independently. This means you can allow unlocking from the left side or the right side or both, depending on your home layout. This matters more than you would expect. Homes are not uniform. Front doors can be close to living spaces, hallways, or exterior walls. Directional detection makes home key usable in more challenging environments like apartments, shared entrances, or homes where doors are frequently passed from different directions. Now let's look at ultra wideband controls in Apple wallets. Ultra wideband can also be enabled or disabled directly in the Apple wallet for your home key. And here's the important detail. This setting is per device and it's not global. You might want ultra wideband enabled on your Apple Watch for hands-free unlocking while preferring traditional tap to unlock behavior on your iPhone. Apple allows for this flexibility. If you turn ultra wideband off in wallet, home key continues to work exactly as it has. You can still unlock by holding your device near the lock. Nothing is lost by turning it off. One of the most thoughtful features of ultra wideband home key shows up when you are wearing an Apple Watch. 
If the lock unlocks while you're moving near the door, your Apple Watch immediately displays a notification. And in that notification is a clear option to relock the door instantly. This answers one of the biggest concerns people may have about automatic unlocking. So imagine leaving the house, getting into your car, then realizing you forgot something that you left on the porch. As you walk back towards the door, the door will unlock because it thinks you're coming home. And so before you even think about it, your Apple Watch sends you a notification that your door is unlocked. However, it gives you the option to relock the door. No apps, no phone out of your pocket, and no second guessing if the door is locked. Ultra wideband does not just make home key faster, it makes it smarter. It reduces accidental unlocks by understanding direction. It adds intent by recognizing approach rather than location. And most importantly, it gives you immediate recovery when something does not go as planned. And it does all this quietly in the background without adding any complexity. Once set up, ultra wideband fades into experience it simply makes HomeKey behave the way you expect it to do. And this is Apple at its best. But one thing is already clear. Ultra Wideband has set a new baseline for what smart lock interaction should feel like inside Apple Home. It's quiet, deliberate, designed around intent and not guessing. So that's a wrap on this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos as there's plenty of videos about Apple Home and its smart home platform. And if you like what you see, we'd like you to have you around, so please subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to check us out on our other social media channels at Follow Home Kit across X, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.